Welcome to another episode of Tea Time as we analyze the biggest entertainment stories. My name is Elsie Godwin and I have my very amazing co-anchors with me, Ife Omai and Ife Oluwa. We get okay. very amazing. Gang, gang, gang. Even, even, I'm very amazing. Oh, okay. This one. Huh? Okay. Just this small one flatter. <laughs> our body is like No, this. it's not even that. It's just actually, I've not been getting my compliments, so like, oh. I've done something right today. Mm. That's nice. Do you have a hoil? <laughs> <laughs> you just had to bring it Fair. to the. To the Please tell them where you got it. I've been saying it the whole I, day. Tell I, them I where you got it. Our African to relays. Who, who's um, your African to relays? Badiosha. <laughs> that you know. Yeah, you, you guys need to see that. See, what sure what did have. he need the hoy for? Mm -hmm. Something to make. <laughs> <laughs> okay, please moving on. <laughs> Presidency responds to Zlatan and Ibile as he makes a tweet mocking coronavirus disease surge in the country. Zlatan quoted a tweet updating, um, yeah, a tweet updating the number of confirmed cases from the NCDC with laughing emojis. This drew the attention of the presidency as a personal assistant on new media to President Muhammad Buhari. Bashir Ahmad replied the singer saying Zlatan, as President Buhari stated in his national broadcast on April 13th. This is not a joke. It's a matter of life and death. The presidency says the reason it replied the rapper was because of his status as a celebrity and the influence he wields. Hmm. Okay, so um, on this one, I think a lot of people are still ignorant about COVID-19. Which is sad. Yeah, very sad, especially um, coming from a celebrity, which is why I appreciate what the presidency did by calling him to order, because at the end of the day, you have millions of followers, and um, these people are listening to everything. Some of them even see you as a role model. So if you say, I don't believe in coronavirus, they probably will go with that same vibe, I don't believe in coronavirus. And then that's how the disease would keep spreading. So I like the fact, and a lot of people started, and you can tell that people were already getting ignorant in this comment um, section already, because they were almost agreeing to him, saying that, oh, it's a conspiracy theory, oh, wow. is this, is that, you know. People came up with different ideologies about why they feel the coronavirus is not really in existence so that's the power that a celebrity has so that's the influence you have on these people so if you are saying things like there's nothing like coronavirus you're misleading a lot of people so what the presidency did was absolutely correct i i, mean, I don't think this, i personally don't think that they're ignorant i think they've just chosen they're not quite too. educated they are aware of what we what the experts are saying and what it is and what they're supposed to do. I think they've just chosen to believe in something so else. Um, I guess so, but anyway, um, so, so I guess it's just wording, but mm -hmm. there, there is something about that mindset and I, I would have thought that Ibile would have, I'm saying Ibile like um, his father or something. <laughs> <laughs> no, like that's his real name. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm, um, Zatlan. I, you think that Zatlan would have picked on what happened with um, Naramali no and just stay off that, even if that's what you think, like stay off that um, public notion of um, taking it for granted or taking it lightly. But I think he's just really irresponsible and doesn't care. Um, when people are looking at him as an, a role model, I found that very unfortunate it's because I think there's, some, there's just some people that should just be entertainers and nothing else. Mm. Like you can be an entertainer and not be like a role model, an influencer or something like that. Girl, catch me outside. She's singing, but if you come and tell me now that that's your role model, like no matter, you, you have a serious problem, not even the girl. And I, I feel like I'll put um, Ibili and a lot of other people in that category. So I'm not going to sit here and say that I'm like, I'm disappointed or I put I expected highly of you or something like that. So no, I'm not surprised. Yeah, it's what it is. I'm glad that he responded to him, but you can't respond to everybody that's on there. Um, and when he said that he had to, he then replied like the person, Bashir or whatever, then replied and said, "Oh, he the reason why he was doing that because of he was a he was a celebrity. Celebrity. I don't know what he was responding to because I looked and looked and looked in the comment section. I didn't see where that question was arising from mm -hmm. and why he had to reply that way. But it could be uh, mentions that he didn't retweet and he just right. felt um, it was necessary to respond to. However, even when we say these people are not supposed to be role models and just entertainers, which of course I agree." There are people who see them as role models. Mm -hmm. And right now, this morning, we touched on the disease becoming a community spread mm. issue. And those are the kind of people who listen to um, the likes of Zlatan and Naira Mali and will take everything they say in hook line, you know. So um, I like that he, he decided to address this. And I hope that 
um, those who are holding on to the idea that this could be a conspiracy theory or a host um, would listen because I'm, I'm also hoping that I, I don't know how possible this is but if it's possible for the presidency or anybody close to somebody like Zlatan and even uh, Mali to sit them down speak to them make them understand and then have them become like a voice because we need I thought people about to was stop David being ignorant because I know that him and David o have a relationship hmm. David O's fiance I, saw, I think I David is comment. just about I saw a comment so whatever. someone said that why would he not you know, of all think, people come out to really two weeks ago that's true mm -hmm. I you mean, know? we're talking of Chioma here, and yeah. you're close to the family, so why would you still think it is not real? Or, no, you, you know, think they've been two weeks ago yeah. when he was like, um, he doesn't believe there's coronavirus, when he was talking to Osha, that is um, yeah, the yeah, show yeah. promoter. I, I live, yeah. and, and the IG Live, like, I don't believe in, because they canceled the show, which was supposed to be May 10th in London. And um, somebody said, so you think David Doe is lying about your man? Because mm -hmm. mm. if you don't believe that, you're clearly saying that, that David Doe right? is yeah. lying. Yeah. No, and David the whole world is lying and all the airlines are lying and all the people that are losing money are also lying. And <laughs> it's freaking That's an ridiculous. amazing lie. Yeah. Mm. Very I ridiculous. think they need to sit him down. I'm glad you even mentioned that he's in David Doe's camp. So maybe there needs to be a conversation within mm. themselves for them to align and use their voice for something reasonable. If you're not raising $127 million for us, you can at least do help us um, put people's, you know, mm. uh, set the record straight or something like that. Okay, moving on. I don't think we can say more than what Bashir Ahmed has said. Ghanaian rapper Michael Owusu Ado, popularly known as Akode, is pleading with the president of Ghana, Nana Akufo Ado, to open Ghana's border for at least a day or two in between time for the citizens stuck outside to get back. I think this we need to rephrase that. Mr. President, can you please open the border so that I can come back home? He's not in the country? No, he's Aww. not. And I think that's where this is coming from. I don't think mm -hmm. he's the only one stuck out. No, I, I think it's making... Oh, obviously, how can he be the only one stuck out? I think there's out, a Nigerian like celebrity that is stuck somewhere funny. Who's that? I can't for the life of me now. I can't please. Ricardo it. Banks, Ricardo I think. Banks, mm. yeah, in an African country or something. So, um, she stay put. She stay put. He's <laughs> <laughs> in, is, is at home. Is, we're African <laughs> brothers and sisters. <laughs> But I think it's actually very important that people come back home. You can actually um, quarantine them. Mm. And if, if the right measures are put in place, it can actually be contained. And it, it, even if they have the virus, it wouldn't spread and yeah. all of that. Following? So, Go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, so I think they should actually do that. I think um, Nigeria, I think Abike Dabiri made a move earlier um, during the virus. And she opened the border for people to come back home. And they were able to quarantine them and... They were able to re reunite with their family because in this situation right now, everybody wants to be with their family. Sadly, we can't, but we really I think I think to. it's even not just about being with your family. A lot of these countries, especially developed countries, are taking care of their citizens. Mm. And because nothing is functioning, if you're not a citizen, you don't have access to this support. So you're just suffering. Mm. If you're hit by, if you're unfortunate to be hit by um, that, which I'm guessing he's probably here because it's not working. It's not as if they was, he went there to work anyway. So if you're part of the people who, that, who either way are students or like mm. work on um, a, a tourist visa or something where you, or you work there, but your, your industry was also affected by, mm. by that and you can't rely on the, um, indus on, on the government, then you're really screwed. Like you're in a tight position. And that's why a lot of countries have been calling their people back because they know right now it is my people and I only. Um, and I, I can understand that wherever he is, and I think it's in a developed country, he's probably feeling the brunt of that and wants to come back home. It is the duty of the government to actually um, out and get those people back home. It's not like a crazy thing to say. And I know experts, I don't know why experts are saying this, but they keep saying that, you know, restricting movement has never really helped with the pandemic or whatever. So it's just a fear instinct of, of humans to just say that we shouldn't open the borders but hasn't actually been able to prove or help with the pandemic or something like that in other ways i feel like he has a point um in in asking the government to rethink that if they can find a way to like you said maybe quarantine them or i don't know whoever said that uh, maybe that would help i like um i like the idea of um, ghana opening their borders to their citizens based on the information we have and the ones you reiterated yesterday on the show that they actually had a place to quarantine people for 14 mm. days before they allow you in but it's in nigeria 
I don't have that kind of faith because you will come in and they will tell you, you know what, go to your house, just yeah, go and stay, yeah, self I yeah. you know, and you I can't I can't trust anybody at this moment to do the right thing because I don't understand what's going on. I don't know if I'm the only one reading the news or maybe people are seeing the headline and they're not reading the body. I don't know, but people are very responsible um, with this pandemic and it's, it's sad but that's what it is at least I'm in this part of the irresponsible, irresponsible. Okay. yeah so I, I if it's for ghana because i know that they have that measure to keep people somewhere maybe they should consider bringing not even maybe i mean they're your citizens so you should um, mm. consider taking care of them but for nigeria I, i'm not quite sure and, and i can't even say that the treatment you will get here would be better off based mm. on what we are seeing now and mm. um, of course you said over there in developed countries they will look at their citizens first but i don't think that they, they will be that inhumane because a lot of conversations have been going around on how people are saying that if we're going to win this we have to come together as one to win it there is no america is safe china is safe and it to still travel back and for those that are saying that there is no proven um, there's no proof that locking down borders is going to stop this is I think it's almost something as you saying social distancing or stop it. locking down the country will not stop it I don't see how do you understand spread. because if you say the borders are open it means that you're saying people can move around and so what's the point of even the lockdown within um, the state mm. or the country so I think it is important even now that we are hoping that we'll get to the point where after Lagos State have been able to go house to house to check and that we can open up within our own states and the country here, I, I still want the borders to remain closed because that's the only way this thing came into Because Nigeria. even if the um, mm. pandemic ends today, it will still take at least three to four months before life will go back to normal. So I think... Um, Oh, it's they should do what the Shanghai people, the Shanghai visa waiver just made a statement now that if you, when things do go back to normal, they're going to be asking for a, a coronavirus test of that 14 days before old. Before you travel. Before you can travel, even if you already, people already have mm. the existing so visa. This test is going to be mandated. Mm. Hey. So we have to do it's it. It's time for a break. And when we return, we'll definitely have more to discuss. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child at the scene every day. <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Ali Alibaba? Baba? Oh, <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to die, everybody feeling all right. Still make music and people are still buying. Sometimes I they look myself minimal. Are you? music is for mature-minded people. That got DM sometimes from Malawi. Like, sleeping early, sleeping early. Media personality Toke Makinwa and former Big Brother Ninja housemate Tacha Akide have reacted as they are targets um, of blackmailers. Sharing email from the blackmailer, they both say they are being blackmailed with photoshopped nude photos of themselves. And um, of course, some comments will say you cannot shame the shameless. <laughs> <laughs> See, boys don't rape. Well, I don't even know why you were targeted to Kema Kema because we've seen her bikini photos over and over she again. So, I mean, if, exactly if you bring the said. fake one, we can tell you, no, this is not Toke's uh, body. You know, I don't need to be intimate with her to know that. That's what I said when I saw the story. I was like, come on, what do I want to see on Toke's body again? Mm -hmm. Like, we've seen everything. And Tasha was like, on Big Brother. Like, everybody saw what know? she was able mm -hmm. to show. So, mm -hmm. why, are, why are you targeting these people? I feel like you should target somebody who prides themselves in decency. Then like Shalewa Benny. That we discussed. <laughs> uh, uh, Salawa, yeah, yeah, Salawa, yeah. Shalewa, yeah. Salawa. That was funny. Uh, that was funny. funny. One tiny brush. She's like, oh my god, guys. <laughs> okay. Okay, we're sorry. Yeah, yeah but sorry for your opinion. back to yeah. your story. Um, it's obviously this is something that, to be honest with you, I have to say that the first shoot was done really well. If I didn't know that she had done that shoot before, which I've seen a few photos. I would have, like, it seemed appropriate, whatever. I haven't really studied Tokemaki was nude, so I don't know how uh, to go and compare and, you know, contrast or whatever. Um, but it, what I really liked 
is the comment section of the story. Okay. There were a lot of people on the shoot of that particular photo that they were like, mm. oh, I didn't know I took nude photos or I didn't know I did this. So it's kind of nice to see that um, the truth always kind of like speaks for itself mm -hmm. because then everyone else apart from her were backing up to, to legitimize it. Because like I said, I didn't, I've never, I've never really studied her body. So from that picture, it just looked like, okay. Why does it okay. sound like you're trying to <laughs> let us know you've not studied her body? <laughs> so, it's like, okay, so let me, you know, maybe, maybe the photos are not, um, uh, the photos are not uh, photoshopped legit. or uh, legit or not or whatever. But uh, even if it was, to be honest with you, I wouldn't like. I, I okay, it's only this part of the world that I, I still don't get it. Like it's a body, you know that under these clothes. I'm not trying to ask you to imagine. We've known that these clothes are there, nipples there. I don't so think it's only it's this like, part of the world. What if though? you then like? I don't think so. I mean, um, Kim's nude breaks the internet so it's not just this part of the world well, there's James a big deal one broke the internet that's very different ha from taking whenever she puts out uh -uh, come on she I she's, mean, I she's done it over and over again yeah. and she gives you the soul three look and all that it's mm. not it's she's she trends worldwide at number one for 24 hours mm. so it, there's still a big deal when people hear nude it's not just if our nigeria yeah, but i don't true. think it takes away from the person is what i'm trying to get okay, to and yeah, i think maybe I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to say that somebody breaking your trust and leaking out your photos are not a big deal but the I, here it seems very different like no one is going to respect kim kardashian less because they have seen her nude pictures like maybe she's hurt and like oh invaded but it doesn't mm. diminish from the person's character but here it looks like mm. all the black whalers are like yeah. about you know you're you not whole anymore or like finished, yeah like, mm, like mm, why and that's why it's a blackmail too and then the, the crazy very thing is one. um it was the same formats from the same email to tacha mm -hmm. and um Tokyo at the same time so i'm wondering like is that a new hustle mm -hmm. of course it is especially with salawa benny and then there's this new trend of hacking instagram um, accounts as well, like yeah, so I, was doing... also, I was also. I, I also got an email yeah, saying been that doing... my pass. You're nude. No. Okay. <laughs> 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 that my password was going to be reset. That was if that was me. I should something something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm not even a new. Because I have like I three what's... friends now that told me, oh, follow my new account. The other one go, and I'm like, you guys don't even have a lot of followers. So um, why are they? Okay, even um, just... I know we need to go to the next story, but very quickly, I need to share the story a colleague shared um, with me. Mm -hmm. So one of i mean we are just trying to help every one of us so we don't fall into the hands of um these people so one of their ways now is to use the facebook account so they hack two people that are apparently friends mm. and then um they go to the page and then put something about the whole investment thing oh i just got uh so say they hack if i my and i and you know we are friends and we interact on facebook mm. and then they go on her page to say oh i just invested so so amount of money and i got this and blah blah, blah. then i of course we are we already hacked and then i come to the comment section to to say oh yeah that's true thank you for being my referral and blah, blah 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 and of course people will fall for that because these are two friends having a conversation and then they come into your dm and when they get into the dm they're not chatting with the owner of the account they're chatting with the um scammer or whoever it is and they'll tell you oh we can't chat on phone something is wrong and before that they must have um studied the person's pattern of chatting and all that and you think you're chatting with the same person and the person encourages you to say you know what else did it i mean we're cool i referred her and because you've seen that level of trust you fall into it and you send your money and your money is gone so please let's be careful um in investing i don't want to mention any names right now but just let's be careful relief package come quick because <laughs> <laughs> this, this is all disgusting things are getting crazy I mean, it's really getting crazy okay um moving on twitter is the hub for nigerians with displaced aggression every time you tweet even if it's high you stand the risk of being insulted for sharing your perspective or opinions most times the insults make them feel better about their own problems don't take it personal this is coming from beverly naya uh, the law. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think this is quite true because you see a lot of people that have um, opinions about your opinion on social media. They get there and they feel like, okay, the only way they can get a use is dropping insults. So I also have a problem with people that actually reply those trolls. Do you understand? Like, if you come on my page and you want to say anything, Please, by all means, feel free. I'm not going to indulge you by replying you. Do you understand? But um, I, I think that happens a lot. A lot of people tend to air out their frustration on social media. And mm. that is really... <laughs> excuse me. Sorry. It's not the wrong I, I get what she's trying <laughs> to say. But I've always and will always have a problem with generalization. Like, 
Um, you can't just say Twitter hub, Nigeria Twitter, we are all, dis we all have displays. I mean, that means you're talking to me, myself. I'm mm -hmm. there and active, right? So I, I don't agree with that, or, or I don't like the idea of generalization. generalization. And of course, I dear people who um, just don't come down to read <coughs> and understand um, before they respond. Yes, there are, and it can be really tiring. A very recent example is yesterday, because I was just playing around and I tweeted a video that was made by someone who was trying to say, this is how Igbo girls um, are created i tweeted and i said i have never met a poor Igbo man of course that does not mean that there are no poor Igbo men i said i have never met but I, the amount of responses i got mm. i mean people some try to insult me also um you indulge them by replying sometimes if i have the time and if i don't of course i have my sarcastic um, side so when it plays out it's usually fun right and then there are people whose opinion should be outrightly shut down thank you that's where i was going to jump mm. into i think you should take it from uh, yeah i i think that there is um a space to just shut some things completely down i'm too opinionated not to even talk i don't care what beverly or anyone is going to say i will let you know that your points your comments should be trashed into mm -hmm. the bin and there's no space for that in the type of world yes. we want to create for our future mm. so i'm going to be i'm going to be the person to say that is that aggression yes but i feel like it's righteous um so like I, like you said the generalization it has to be a balance in this in this tweet there is a sense to it that people come out to be aggressive, but there is also a space for people, especially especially when you have controversial topics, especially when you, when you have people who are either bullying someone or like shaming someone or or, or people who are actually supporting patriarchy. Yes, you say we should shut like up. The, wow. yeah, exactly. Really there are so many the, things where you just have to be a little bit aggressive, saying, "Listen here, well, there's no space for that. Trash it out." Like. Get them out of. Of course, there are trolls. I'm not even talking about there are the people that are ridiculous. Um, conversations now. I'm talking. You, you, if you read, what, if you read what she said, she said even when you write high, somebody wants to have an opinion about that. Okay. Do you understand? Like, it's even. That's just an exaggeration. So, on no, top no, of generalization, no, yeah. that's I'm concerned. Really, people put out things that everyone knows that this is the truth. But somebody will still come at you and be like, no, why would you say that? Why would you? But it's obvious, it's commonsensical that this is actually the truth. Do you understand? Well, but people would still say it. There is no absolute truth, so um people always <laughs> i'm just saying there, well, there's it's no my opinion so why have an opinion about uh, my you opinion see, you see that and that's, if you have the right to have an opinion then i have the exactly. right to have an opinion about, about your opinion. opinion yes don't come on twitter on that's my something page. i freaking hate when why are you on twitter say, exactly. lock your lock your say, page lock your I'll account replies to some things and they're like please mind your business and i'm like darling <laughs> why did you tweet my it? business <laughs> like the minute you came on twitter it became my business the see fact why, that it entered my timeline and that's why even when you if you say hi i'll do a better job even if you say hi and i I don't feel like your high makes sense i feel like this that is what the space is supposed to be wow. for to be honest with you i'm just saying there is levels to how you can start to invade people's privacy and you're okay. trolling and all, all that type of stuff but if she's complaining I'll that be people have, out to you and do you know that high can actually erupt some things in a person when it is imagine we're we're mourning um, i'm sorry to bring back bad memories but we're mourning um the people who lost their lives at um is there a mm -hmm. or dauphin or something and then that's a heated conversation everybody's talking and then i'm just going through my page i'm really sad i'm wondering what can i do to this and just say hi like i'm like what are you hiding mm. <laughs> or somebody who, could who, who has a lot of controversy going around them and then they tweet and they're saying hi it's like you have to put that in context like, Nancy like black coming to tweet hi yeah it's like no 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 hi tell us <laughs> tell, tell us i mean <laughs> that's, that's a horror you're asking for things like that so yeah i feel like she needs to put that into context mm. but if you're going to be on twitter you need to be prepared for either either sides you can be the person that's being trashed and you can be the person doing the trashing and mm. you have i get trashed a lot of the times and sometimes i think okay maybe i should if have texted that the like, whoever. Get out of the yes, kitchen. I reply when I have my time. If I'm on yeah. Twitter, I'm going to tweet, so I'm going to reply. But there's sometimes where I feel like, okay, they've, they've trashed me. Okay, I'm sorry, guys. Yeah. I'll take it down. Or if I don't want to apologize, go on, jump over the guinea. If I want to apologize and I feel like, okay, I've learned something today, I'm like, okay, guys, okay, no problem, blah, blah, blah. So that's, it's, it's fun. It's supposed to be engaging. If you can't handle that, then go to Facebook or like pictures or something. Or Tinder. Okay, that's how we wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you for engaging with us. And um, of course, my thank you as always to go to my co-anchors, Ife Omaya and Ife Oluwash. Okay, you can watch this um, conversation all over again by visiting our YouTube channel, at Plus TV Africa. And please do subscribe. My name is Elsie Godwin. Thank you for watching Plus TV Africa's Tea Time. See you later.